a big main event this week. We're going to still see some young stars in this after dark main event. It is the Red Prince, DJ Scott. Two of the guys in that middle four way go at it. Wild man Robbie Page looking for prediction. And now you see the Prince here. The Red Prince. Wait a minute, you graduated from the team. High social class, but I'll still break your neck. That's a torture. And yeah, one day he'll, well, he'll be a king, but right now he's just, he just deserves to have the ropes up with him. I like this referee. He's simply what? put unwanted peasants in society. The demeanor is just far more disciplined. I wouldn't try me. Patience is tried. You know what I mean? Hands on roll. Vile to the core. I see blood. I want some more. I know Joe was pissed off when he saw him. He didn't like him. Joe tried to fight him. Well, even the referees fight for their spots. Oh, yeah, he's like, who the hell are you? Saw Willie Manis walking around in the back. He didn't even have his gear on today. He must have, uh, must have got demoted this week. He's been suspended from a couple of promotions. You know that. That's late. But he's a renegade. Who knows? He's plotting some crap. Outlaw. He's an outlaw. That's, That's the right. expert definition of an outlaw. You got that right. Down to the handshake. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Running all the way from the Cobra Kai Dojo, Wild Man Robbie Page. Is that from Netflix? Netflix, YouTube, you name it. Yeah. Well, and now it's one on one with these two. Let's get introductions here. The big contest this set for one call. Introducing first, he is from Lufton, South Carolina. He is the Red Prince, TJ Star. And introducing his opponent from the Cobra Kai Dojo, he is the Wild Man, Ronnie Hey, oh, from behind, you're hit him. All right, I told you I like the Prince for a lot of reasons. He cut off my introduction, too. Uh, Prince not earning himself any favors with me. I don't think Prince cares about that. Look out. No. The wild man Robbie Page here looking to get a big singles win this week. Coming up short in that fatal four-way on Sunday. Wow. Spinning a hit scissor takeover. Leg sweep. As he rolls out of the ring. You must have learned that from the dojo, huh? One, two, three. I don't blame him here. Taking a little breather. Get his faculties back together. There is a tank out. He can, he can work it. And now you see the Red Prince stalling here for some time. And Robbie Page encouraging the chicken chance. Well, we've seen a lot of chickens around here. Look out. Block. Forearm. Leg sweep. Oh, hard impact on the apron. That one was quite different Artists than the last part one. part of the ring, no give. Yeah, no give. That was a lot. the second sweep, but that one was more more damaging. I'd there say. is solid steel beam running underneath the wood there, and there is no give, no give. in that portion of the ring at all. And in fact, I think he, he might have hit more of the corner than he hit anything, the edge. You don't have to listen to these fans just because they tell. Wait a minute. Look out. Going to run here. The Red Prince. Oh, oh no. Stuck the head was Robbie Page. Oh. oh fly, look out. He's going to put him in a submission here. You got him? He may have him. And he gets to the ropes. Hey, we might have seen a submission there, Matt Rose. That would have been a very impressive win for the wild man, as they call him. Right hand here. He yeah. open the fist, though. I think he's wasting time. He's got that fist, cl his fist clenched here. Uh, he's going to hit him, though, and he countered. Took too much time. Took too much time. The Prince. Gave the Prince a lot of time to recover. Now, I have to question the close fist there from Robbie Page. That is, uh, that is illegal. But if he's going to do it, just do it. Don't sit there and talk about it. Well, it cost him. Yeah. I think he uh, may have... Uh, 
toyed with himself back and forth in his head. Do I want to break the rules right here and hit this guy? Which I understand why he wanted to hit him. Chop here. Get another chop. And you notice the gloves. Oh, those are like not chops. There you go. Break the eyes. You notice the gloves there on the hands. Just get fancy with TJ, it. Of TJ Sykes. And that may even soften the blow on those chops. That may be the disadvantage of wearing gloves. It, it is. soften the blow. It will. And he's also got on, well, he's also wearing a shirt and protection from getting chops. That's a good analogy right there. A little extra protection. And Pop Page here trying to get some fans behind him. Uh, these fans oh, are shot. The Great shot here. Slides under. There's that clothesline. We saw that Sunday. Yes, we did. Very impressive. And he gets a two. And his debut here at 505 was quite impressive. It wasn't just him in a singles match. He had the three other competitors to go against. So I'm very impressed with the Prince. Gonna go up and down. <laughs> I'm not gonna cinch up here. I'm gonna cut the or restrict the airflow to the wild man, Robbie Page. The martial arts expert in trouble here. Really, in this environment, you know, the martial arts game can be effective, but not much the martial arts can do to help him out. You're talking about environment. Well, the Prince, he's come from the, the bad side of Baltimore, you know, and like this side of great. <laughs> Maryland's pretty good. I didn't know there was a good side of Baltimore unless you ah. talk about Jimmy's famous seafood. So he's from the bad, bad side. He's a bad man. Straight to SOM. He said it's all he's here for. For the third. Oh, no. He holds the arm up. What? Max continues. Worst place is going crazy. They've been on every every move. Look out. Feeling the back. Exploding suplex. Ah, there's a third sweep of the match. He likes those leg sweeps. Here's a cover. One, two, near fall. But if he didn't get it two times before, I don't think the third time was going to do it. So. Looking for some help here in uh, support of the audience. The wild man it. going high risk here. I'm pandering, I'm telling you. fly. I don't know. Very composed is the wild man. See? Went for a big diving kick. Caught. That's wow. it. Good night. Turned him. There's a cover, shoulders down. No, he uh, kicked down. That should have been a three count. And he's face to face with the referee in shock. I'm shocked. That should have been a three count. That should have been it. Oh, the referee. Big mistake. That can get you. That can get you suspended around here. That's no different than attacking a police officer. He is law and order in that ring. I like the, I like the talking, the crap talking. <laughs> Still running those jaws. Oh God! The right hand here. That's what happens when you run your mouth sometimes. You get caught. Up we go. Some elbows counter. Let back fist. Oh. That's what won it Sunday for yeah, him. We've seen that. Oh look at that. Oh, right to the back of the head. That's probably, perfect. Oh, wow. Knockout blow. And that guy, the wild man with a big win. And, oh, wow, man. Did not see that one coming. Well, that was a very, very competitive back and forth foul. Uh, it was a suspenseful ending there. Didn't know who was going to get the win, but the wild man, Robbie Page, with a big win. I'm going to work with him here. Great effort, though, on both competitors' part. No doubt, man, you didn't get the outcome you desired on Sunday in the Fatal 4-Way, but after a great match here, a win in the win column for the Wild Man. That's right. I just want to thank all the fans here tonight who came to support School of Morton and all the guys in the back. But more importantly... TJ, you ain't never gonna beat me, 
Anderson. A personal between these two. No doubt they may meet again in the future, maybe in the middle of that ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back right after this.